guys? Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. For those of you who are new here, thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and please hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. I hope I'm pointing in the right areas, but you get what I'm saying. <laughs> please do that and I hope you guys stick around. Before we get into the video, I just wanted to quickly apologize because I know I haven't been super active on YouTube and the reason for that is because I've actually been moving um, from my place downtown Toronto back to my parents so it's honestly been such a process and like been taking a toll on my life if any of you have ever moved you all know what I'm talking about <laughs> I've also been like traveling a lot and so it's kind of like been a process but I've actually been filming like the whole process for you guys so there will be like a cleaning decluttering um, moving vlog so stay tuned for that because it's honestly really funny like my place at my parents I did not clean it for like four years because I haven't lived there in four years and so it was such a mess like if I were to show you pictures of like how messy it was like I literally could not even walk so it's went from like me not being able to walk to being like perfectly clean and I'm actually filming right now in my room at my parents place so I can't wait to show it to you guys so stay tuned for that but anyway with that being said let's get into the video so in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to get this easy perfect um, beachy mermaid crimpy wavy hair look literally like all the adjectives in there this has been a trend that's been like so common and popular recently celebrities have been doing it I think it was like Kim Kardashian that kind of like started the trend and then bloggers have been doing it and obviously me <laughs> and usually people do it with a straightener where they kind of like hold their hair and go up and down but if you are challenged like me I am going to show you guys a heating tool today um, which is what I use to get this look and it's honestly so freaking easy like kid you not so easy to get this look um, which is why I do this like every day now um, so I'm gonna be showing you guys how I use that heating tool to get this look and then I'm also going to be sharing with you guys the hair products that I use before and after styling my hair and also some of the hair products that I've been loving recently and that I've been using so with that being said let's get into the video okay so this is what my hair looks like right now I actually washed it blow dried and straightened it a day before and this is what I typically like to do if I know I'm going to be curling my hair or styling my hair the reason why I like to do it is because I feel like my curls just hold a lot better and for a longer period of time if I were to just like wash my hair a day before and I've tested this theory out too and every time when I like curl my hair the same day where I wash and blow dry it it just like never really holds the same Way. so I always make sure that I wash my hair a day before and then curl it the next day also the reason why I straighten my hair uh, before curling it is because my hair is just very frizzy and so I kind of like it a little bit tamed before I curl it obviously you guys can skip that step if you don't already have frizzy hair but that's just something that I also like to do so anyway um, this is my hair right now it's just uh, a little bit straightened a day old and so we're gonna go ahead and get started so as I mentioned before um, most people do this type of crimped beachy uh, mermaid hair look actually with a straightener but if you're challenged like me um, this is the magical heating tool that I use it is by Conair and I believe it's 56 Canadian dollars so it is for a really good price and honestly guys since I've like started using this product I literally use this like every single day like I don't even curl my hair anymore I just crimp my hair it just works so amazingly and I kid you not like my curls will last me like three days which is amazing this is the Conair crimper um, I'll have it linked down below and this is what I'll be using for this tutorial so let's get started the first thing I like to do before I always style my hair is use the Live and Prove Restore Perfecting Spray I honestly love this product this is like my holy grail product my mom got this for me like two years ago and since then I've just like been in love what I love about this product is that not only does it act as a UV and heat protectant but it also just like detangles my hair and makes it like so smooth um, before I'm like styling my hair so I always just use this product first so we're gonna go ahead and just spray Also guys, if you see me looking away from the camera, it's because I'm looking at myself, making sure that I'm doing this right, so. And then I'm just gonna use this wide um, brush and then just going to like brush my hair out. 
And I like to use brushes that are wide because I feel like they're just better at like, sorry, I just like pulled the hair out there. Um, they're just better at making sure that your hair like doesn't get tangled or anything or just break while you're, you know, styling your hair. So the next thing I also like to do is I use the Olaplex Bond Smoother and this is a leave-in reparative style cream. So this also kind of like acts as a protectant, make sure that your hair is smooth and frizz-free. Olaplex is like one of the best companies, like they have the most amazing hair products. I also use a bunch of their other hair products that I'm going to talk about later in the video. But what I like to do is literally take like a pea size amount in my hand And then I'm just going to massage it, rub it in my hands, and then just like go through basically like the ends of my hair first. I always start with my ends because you never want to like take a product and start from your roots because it's just gonna make like your roots look very oily and you never want it to look like that. I'm just gonna literally just massage it. Sorry, not massage. I don't know why I keep saying massage. I literally just like brush my hands through my fingers. And that's literally all I'm gonna do and then when I feel like the product is really like gotten off my hand then I'm gonna go through my roots now that we're done doing all the pre-styling work I'm gonna go ahead and section my hair um, because I have short hair right now I usually just do two sections sometimes when I'm in a hurry I wouldn't even section it I literally just like will kind of like partition because I know the way that I need to partition it um, and just do my hair right away. But for now, I'm actually gonna just section it off. I'm just gonna use this clip right here to clip it up. Okay. Now that I look like an Oompa Loompa, <laughs> I don't even know what. Um, so the curler, I already started it and it's heated. I'm gonna go ahead and start taking sections to basically crimp my hair. And so I think I'm just gonna take like these pieces of hair and I'm just gonna show you guys here. Um, this is the amount of hair that I've taken. I feel like this is perfect because if I take more, it will just be too much. And um, so the way that I hold the crimper is I have like the two rods section basically towards me and then the head is outward. I'm gonna put the hair in between and then I kind of just start from here and I'm gonna hold it down for like 10 seconds. So one, two, three, four. And then I'm gonna basically move and then I'm gonna press it down again. And then again, just like hold for 10 seconds So here you can see that I was kind of holding it down longer at the end so the crimp is a lot more defined. So you do want to make sure that you're holding um, basically the crimper for the same amount of time if you want like the same type of curls but I don't really care, I'm not that like anal about it. But basically that's how you do it and honestly guys this is so freaking easy. I don't know what my life would be without this crimper because I do not know how to do this with a straightener. So if you guys want to get that beachy, perfect, crimpy hair look, get yourself this crimper. I'm just gonna go ahead and basically do the first half of my hair with the crimper and just follow the same method. bottom half of my hair has been done and obviously there's like not much hair on this side um, but this is what it's looking like right now 
Before I go ahead and do the top section of my hair, I'm gonna use the way, I don't know if I said that right, why, way? I think it's way or why. I don't know. Okay, correct me if I'm wrong. But I'm gonna use their texturizing hairspray, and I've been loving this product. I started using it like six months ago, I think. I love using this product like immediately right after I um, curl my hair because I feel like it just kind of gives that like little texture. So I'm just gonna shake the bottle. Shake it, shake it, shake it. <laughs> and then literally just gonna spray like a little bit. And it smells so good. It's just like an added bonus. So now that the um, lower half is done, I'm gonna go ahead and open up the top half. And look at that beauty. Okay, my hair, I don't know what's going on here. It's just like so weird right now. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and do all the remaining hair now. of my bladder. Never mind. Too much information. I am done curling my hair. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and use the way texturizing spray again um, all over the hair. So just gonna shake it. And then the next thing I like to do is use um, this restorative styling oil by Joyco. And this is, oops. Sorry guys, just got distracted. <laughs> Never mind. This is the Joyco restorative styling oil. I love this product to death. This is probably one of the best like hair oils that I've come across that tame frizz. And as I mentioned earlier, I have very frizzy hair and this product just like works perfectly because it doesn't feel like too much oil when I put it on my hair. It's just that like perfect amount of oil I need to like tame the frizz and just makes my hair like so shiny. Um, so I definitely recommend you guys to get this product. It's one of my favorite hair oils and I'm gonna be talking about my other favorite hair oils later on in the video too. What I like to do after is just take um, like two pumps and then I just rub it in my hands and then I kind of just Again, like the um, other oil that we use, I just kind of make it go over my hair. And that is basically it, guys. If I do want a longer lasting hold, my favorite hairspray to use is the uh, Le Sharif by Dry Bar. This is what the product looks like. If you guys want the long lasting curls, but you don't like that like stickiness or stiffness in the hair, then I definitely recommend this product. Actually, now that I think about it, I do have an event tomorrow and I'm not going to wash my hair, so I may as well just use this hairspray now. For some reason, whenever I'm buying hair products, I always like to make sure that they smell good because you need your hair to smell stunning. <laughs> And perfect. All right guys, so that was the end of the hair tutorial on how to get these beachy, crimpy, mermaid hair look. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And again, I'll make sure that I link all the products down below. Um, so if you guys do wanna purchase anything, it will all be in there. And so now I'm just gonna quickly share with you guys um, some of my favorite hair products that I've been loving recently and that are part of my hair care routine right now. So first I'm gonna share with you guys the shampoo and conditioner that I've been using recently and that I've been loving. So the shampoo that I've been loving recently is the one by Briogeo, I think that's how you say it. And it's the Color Me Brilliant um, 
Protect shampoo has honestly been really good um, at making sure that my color doesn't fade away and just like keeping my color there. And the best part is that it is um, without sulfate, silicones, or parabens, so it is free of all that bullshit and nonsense. So definitely recommend this product if you guys have colored hair like me and are looking for a shampoo that protects your color from fading away. After using the shampoo, I actually go ahead with the Briogeo Banana and Coconut Nourishing Superfood Conditioner, and this is what it looks like. And um, I love using this because it has all these like nutrients, and I feel like when you're using a conditioner, like you really need all those nutrients in your hair to make sure that your hair doesn't get damaged and always looks healthy. So I've been loving using this conditioner recently. So I actually forgot, but before I use the shampoo and conditioner, I use the Olaplex Hair Perfector. And um, I usually only use this like once a week because it is more like a strengthener. So whenever I feel like my hair looks very dull and damaged, I would just go in and use this hair perfector before um, using the shampoo and conditioner. Um, I love Olaplex, again, as I mentioned earlier, because I feel like they're that um, salon type of treatment that you get, but you get it at home and you can do it yourself. And so I really try to incorporate the Olaplex product into my hair care routine because I feel like you get that like salon treatment at home and you can do it at your own ease. But yeah, so these are all the hair products that I've been using and loving recently and that are part of my current hair care routine. So if you guys haven't tried any of these products out, I would definitely recommend. Um, Sephora does also give samples. You can also head there and try them out. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and like this hair tutorial. Please give it a thumbs up if you did and let me know in the comment section if you do try any of the products out that I mentioned because I love to know how your experience has been. And with that being said, I'll catch you guys next week. Bye.